thinking, all right, let's do this. Yeah, all right, Jordica can hang in there. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Heath, and today's video is how I got my General Anakin Skywalker unlocked in Phase 4. I actually did this live on my Twitch stream, but however, because of uh, some issues, technical difficulties there, I'm having to redo it right now, and I'm going to be redoing this live for this video just for you to show you what I did and how I got gas unlocked. Anyway, guys, let's not waste any time and jump right in here and see how we can get General Anakin unlocked for our character squad. All right, so as you can see right here, I've got my General Skywalker unlocked. Uh, journey is complete. You can see right here my list of characters. They are, the first three are Relic Ventress. We've got Droidica and we've got B1. All three of them are Relic. My Magna Guard and my B2 are not Relic. As a matter of fact, my Magna Guard is only gear level 10, I believe. And I believe my B2 is gear level 11. And the Magna Guard here is, yep, gear level 10. So as you can see, mods on my Magna Guard are just garbage right now. The mods on my B2 are actually, they're decent, I guess. I'm using health mods and a couple of defense mods as well. But the main things I want you to look at is my B1. And again, his mods are not great at all. I mean, we've got one in there. What is this one? 32 speed, potency, crit. They were actually really modded really, really well on stream when I did it on stream. Since I'm having to go back and redo this for the actual video, I figured I'm not going to remod. I'm not going to take all that effort and time and remod all of these uh, characters. And I'm just going to leave what's on there. Here's my Droidica. Droidica again, we've got greens, we've got blues. Uh, we even got some grays on there as well. And one big thing I want you to notice as well is Droidica's speed. He's only 120, but one thing about Droidica is that Droidica receives a 50% boost. So technically my speed on Droidica right now is at 181, 181.5, somewhere around there. If you got, if you want to do the math straight out, you can. But I don't know why they recommend crit for Droidica, because if you look at Droidica's stats, the generator, there it is right there. Droidica, all right, there's a, Droidica has 50% speed plus 25% evasion. Uh, unless it has damage immunity. But the key ones are the main attack skill right here deals physical damage to target. Additionally, if the target has higher speed than Droidica, deals true damage, ignores defense, but can't critically hit. So as you can see right here, my Droidica is actually really slow. And the same thing for the destructive armament skill as well. Deals physical damage to the target, enemy and true damage, ignores defense, but can't critically hit. An additional time for each stack of the charge, then inflict target locks for two turrets. This attack cannot be evaded. When I did this on stream, I think my Droidica's base speed was at 206, which half of that would be an additional 103. So my Droidica's speed was around 309. So Droidica was really, really fast. And I did the event on stream within about two turns. But we're going to do it just like this with 121 speed, uh, 181.5 or 1.81.7. And we're going to try and do it with just what we've got going on right here. My Ventress, her mods are actually pretty good. There are a few that aren't so great, but I've had her modded like this for quite a while because I, I'm not going to lie, I really love my Night Sister group. All right, so uh, now we've actually looked at the characters, looked at everything. All right, so now let's just actually run this fight a couple of times and see how well it goes. One thing I would suggest is if you right off the bat, the RNG on this fight is just absolutely nuts. Sometimes you get really good stuff and then sometimes you don't. But uh, we're going to run it. There's our group. And there's no leadership ability because she is only our useful for Night Sisters. But let's run it up and see how well this goes. See how many times it actually takes me to get gas down with this uh, setup. And with these uh, really uh, sketchy mods I've got going on right now. So uh, blah, blah, blah. We're going to use Ventress's ability. We're going to put, uh, we are going to put defense down on everybody by using that. Then we are going to use mow down, which is from B2. That puts buffs. And then we're going to use B1. And we're going to use that on again. Going to use his ability again. And pretty much we're gonna, just going to keep going through, going through, doing this each and every single time. Uh, using our, all of our abilities as a roll through. Normally, I, I would suggest using Droidica's eye since Droidica has come up using the Reconstructed Revolution. But with Gas only having just a little bit of protection left, I'm almost certain I can get Gas down 
uh with i just one shot and there we go gas goes down all right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on five if we can get fives down we are gonna be in luck before I, anakin pops back up but i don't think we're gonna get him back mm, all right let's do this but yeah anakin's back up so this is probably gonna be a fail right here yeah this one is going to be a fail we'll go ahead and finish it out though and as you can see right there we have been feet all right so round two boys and girls Let's try it again. Same mods, nothing's been changed. Going back, doing it again. We're gonna skip out a little dialogue as much as possible. Like I said, however, this is a, just a lot of RNG. There we go. Wow, we got our debuffs up. We're gonna use B2 ability, and they are just going to go to town on side of my B1. We are gonna buff up B2 back up. Use his ability out another time, and let's get Anakin down again. He's back down. Let's use B2 on our fives. Can I use that ability one more time? Anakin's probably gonna pop back up. He yeah, yep, he is back up again. So this one here is, I'm almost certain this was gonna be a fail also. All right, there's Ventress. Let's use that on our Droidica. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have bail out on this one already. This one's a re- All right, so here's round three. All right, so round three's up. Let's skip all the dialogue. Let's use Ventress's the debuffs on everybody. We gotta use B2's ability. This time we're gonna use it on Droidica. All right, one more shot and we should have Anakin down. All right, Anakin is down. All right, so now nobody has protection. Last hit fives. All right, oh, new b1 uh, b2 is down again already anakin is gonna pop back up so that uh, we are gonna have to bail out already okay round four let's see how well it goes this time ventures is our ability last throw buff immunity on everybody if we can last use b2's ability one more time let's buff up b2 again and we got one more shot anakin should go down this time and he does all right anakin's down so we actually did pretty good all right our right, magna guard is down but that's okay we are gonna use jordica's a destructive armament ability and pray that it does a lot of damage and there we go we got fives down so we're looking pretty good right now if we can get out one more nope anakin is gonna pop right back up all right last tag anakin think how we might but we're gonna use our damage immunity on droidica last buff up ventress back again we lost our b2 it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be close it's gonna be real close right here so i'm trying to decide do i want to get rid of the buffs on the uh, clones, or do I want to go full on with Anakin? Let's try. Yeah, we, did. we got lucky. We got Anakin down again. So now let's take down Rex. Oh no, our Jordica got stunned. All right, Rex is down. All right, we're looking good. Last get Echo down. Echo's down. All right, Anakin's gonna come back up one more time, and we should, we should have it this go around. Let's smash up Anakin. Draw that guy on Anakin. One more time, Anakin's gonna go down, and we should be able to get this done. They get the Arc Trooper. One shot, come on. And our Arc Trooper down, Anakin's back up. And Anakin is pissed off, but we're gonna do enough damage. Anakin should go down pretty easily. Oh, why right, Anakin? All right, let's do this. Yep, yeah, all right, Jordica can hang in there. Oh, so freaking close. We all we needed was one more shot on Anakin. So how many times is that we're on now? That was our fourth try. Again, this would be much, much easier with uh, much better mods, but that time there, was wow, so freaking close we almost had it all right round five boys and girls round five well we had a little bit of technical difficulty on the fifth attempt there so we're going to come back to it the uh actual blue stats crash so let's try it again so this is actually our technically our fifth attempt at what we're doing but like i said if i modded uh my Jordica and all the rest of my characters better i would probably have done this a lot easier but Here's the thing. Yesterday when I did this, I did it on my tablet. Three attempts, beat uh, Anakin, no problem, and uh, I was done. Now we're on, what, our fifth attempt, I said. So uh, again, let's throw up Endless Wrath on everybody. Boom, boom. Everybody got debuff, of course, except for Anakin. All right, let's get our B2, see if we can get anything done. And it's not looking good right here. So RNG, like I said, is a really huge factor on this thing right here. Sometimes you get super lucky with attacks. Sometimes you don't. Uh, we lost. We only got two on there. Let's roll Droidica. Since we're not doing much damage, another on our B1. Let's get him healed up a little bit. All right, protection is off all of the clones. Anakin, can we do him one more time? Let's do it. Anakin is uh, laying hurting on us this round. All right, we got Anakin down. Let's see if we can get down fives. I don't think we're gonna have time. Might have to do another attempt. Shouldn't have done that, but hey. All right, B1 is down, so we have to roll this again. So i bailing out once again. So now we are on attempt number six here, and let's see how it goes. All right, so here's our sixth attempt right here. All right, 
throw out defensive down on everybody. Well, I actually only got on two. Last throw down B2. And we got buff immunity on two of the clones. Last healing back up. And Anakin, come on. Go down this time, Anakin. All right, they've got tenacity up. We really need B1 to use his ability so we can get tenacity off of them. All right, last do B2. All right, so here's our chance. Let's see if we can get fives down. Fives almost down. Can we do it? Nope. Got one more shot on him. Uh, everybody. All right. Fives is down. And we've got buff um, immunity on everybody. Let's get Rex down. Actually, you know what? Three turns. All right. So here we're, here's where the decision lies. Do I go for Echo because of the EMP or I, do I go for Rex? I think I, last time I did Echo. So let's see if I hit Echo up. All right. Echo should go down. Yeah, Echo's down. All right. Now let's buff up. Now here lies our choice. Do we buff up Droidica? Uh, I'm thinking I'm going for Droidica because Droidica is our main damage dealer. So let's buff up Droidica. Half health. Anakin's gonna come back up. We only got two left this time. A little bit more buff immunity. Our B2 is probably gonna drop. All right, a little bit of immunity. Uh, immunity. Uh, immunity for Droidica. We need to get our Ventress back up some for her to survive. All right, Annika's going down. We should, we might, might get this. All right, there is one down. All right, now here is the decision. We have our Arc Trooper up. We have our B2 up. We only got 18 our B1s left. Let's buff up B2. Buff immunity on him again. All right, he's down. Ventress got him down. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good now. Last buff. Ventress back up. All right. Anakin's back down again. And there we go, boys and girls. We got Anakin down again with uh, these crappy mods on our Ventress and our Droidica and our B1 and also. But as you can see right here, it's really doable. I really am overgeared with my B1 and Droidica. I've seen other people do this a lot, lot lower than what I have, but there we go. That's pretty much the basis of it right there. My Ventress is looking pretty good with her mods. My other mods, like I said, aren't so great. As you can see right here, my Droidica is just got some really trash mods on Droidica. Speed's low, B1, same thing. So it really comes down to RNG, random. I mean, it's just completely random. Sometimes you get good. If you realize you're doing this event and things aren't going your way, just bail out, come back and redo it all over again. But anyway, guys, this is how I got my Anakin. I still got a lot of the way to go with him. I've only got him up to, I think, five stars. Yeah, five stars. So I need to get two more stars to get him maxed out. I need to work on my clones as well to get them done also. But there we go. That is how I got my General Anakin Skywalker. Not great, but hey, it might have been messy, but we got it done. But anyway, guys and gals, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this gives you some insight on how to get the last phase of Anakin done with your droids and with Ventress. But anyway, guys, look forward to seeing you next one. Until then, much love, peace out, and we'll see you soon.